hi guys it's your more girl and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be how i made these beautiful ceiling to floor walmart cartons for only 15 dollars per pair so guys plenty of you was asking for this video so i did it for you and also i want to show you at the end of the video stay tuned i want to show you this beautiful resin wall art all right guys let's get started okay guys so i got the top part of the curtains so these are the cream color top panels so these curtains are only 27 inches wide now my gray curtains is going to attach to is 30 inches wide so what i had to do was turn the curtains horizontal and that way i'm able to cut my inches to 31 inches going across to match up to the gray curtains Now that I have my curtains horizontal, I'm going to now measure 31 inches for these curtains. So I'm going from left to right has to be 31 inches because the right side is already stitched. So what I need to do is once I cut it, I'm going to take one inch and fold it. Okay, so it'll be bonded or you can sew it. Okay, for this one, I'm measuring 27 inches because it's going to be cut. So it's going to be 26 inches. So the bottom part is going to be sewn to the gray part of the curtain. And the, the top part of the curtain is, of course, going to be for the rod. So now this edge, which is raw, is going to connect to the gray part. So it's actually going to go like this. You see? So this is going to be the bottom. And it's going to meet right here. And you see how you need an extra just to fold over? Okay, now this here is already cut. So this is actually the bottom of the curtain. This is the bottom of the curtain, guys. And as you can see, this is the top of the curtain. So this is actually gonna be now the bottom, okay? So it's gonna go this way. Like this, okay? And how much did I cut? Basically, all I did was the seam of the curtain I just cut it off at the edge, that's all. And I'm keeping these just in case. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. If I, you know, and I just ironed them like this way, just in case, I might just use it as, um, I don't know, a, a pull tie, I'm not quite sure, but I don't like to throw anything away. Okay guys, so the next thing I have to do is just get the um, iron to fold this in. Okay, I'm gonna steam this, and then I'm gonna add the bond I'm not going to stitch it. It's easier just to get, you know, the bond to adhese it. And this one is already done. So I don't have to do it. And then once this is done, I do it sew the two together and that's it. That's how easy it is. Okay, now I place them on the ironing board because I'm going to steam these as well. So I'm at my 31 inches and you can see the right side is already seamed. Okay. Um, on the left side, all I have to do again is just fold it, steam it, and add bonding or sew it. Now you're going to ask me before, why did I just cut the bottom of the curtain, the gray curtain? The reason why is because originally the gray was the top part and the cream was the bottom. So this way, I can also flip it. I have the cream at the top now. I can flip it later to have the gray at the top. Just so you know why I did that. All the wrinkles are out. Okay, so now I have the curtains inside out. So here I'm going to steam them. I'm only going to steam the top edge first because once I sew the two curtains together, then I'll go back and steam the whole entire curtain.
Okay, so I got both of the panels steamed. Okay, so now it's time to them line up and I'm going to sew these two together and I'm going to sew it one inch across. So just make sure they are lined precisely. All right, again, be careful at this part once you sew these two together. Okay, make sure your left panel, because these are two-tone curtains, guys. You're going to really see it if it's offline. So you don't want the left panel to be offline to the right panel. So just make sure you measure precisely top to where you're going to sew it together. It's easier to sew the bottom one together, because once you sew that together, then the top one you're going to fold for your rod. So you can always make that little slight adjustment just in case you off by maybe a quarter or a sixteenth of an inch. All right, guys, after that, that's all it is. I'm going to sew these two together. Once the two curtains are sewn together, I'm going to just steam it down towards the gray. So I want this part flattened out. I don't want it to protrude out. And then once I finish steaming it, guys, all you have to do is add another piece of bond going all the way across if you want that to be flattened and sealed. Now flipping it over, it looks very nice, guys. You can't tell. Okay, guys, now it's time to do the pocket for the rod. All right, so I measured two inches, guys. I should have measured three. So when you're doing this, make sure you give yourself that extra inch because what happens is some of these rods are extremely thicker than others. All right, but again, don't forget the top part measure to the gray part where you meet the curtain, the end of the curtain to the gray. Make sure it is even on both panels, left side, and right side i can't stress it enough all right guys so let's get to the finial all right guys so the curtains are done so i'm adding cabinet pulls and i took the finials off i didn't want the finials the traditional ones i wanted a small sleek look you can add any type of cabinet pulls or draw pulls to the end of your rods for a nice different decorative look all right guys so this is the final reveal of my dining room and you can see how the curtains are from 84 inches to 106 inches long ceiling to floor and also check out the wall art in the back all right guys so here i'm doing a resin wall art i added some lavenders and purples and grays and marble technique and here you see me doing the crushed glass that i added you seen this crushed glass before a while ago in my diy video when i did my floor arrangements all right guys this is your more girl thanks again for watching this video and also don't forget subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and others all right guys it's your more girl and i'll see you at the next video